I've had a pretty productive morning so far. I did snooze my alarm and sleep in, which was not part of the plan, but Winston and I went for a big four kilometer walk. I made breakfast and then I've just been sitting at my desk ever since working. It's upload day today, so it's normally my biggest computer day. To be fair, I got most of it done yesterday, but my vlog is currently exporting, so that feels really stunning. I'm just putting on a bit of makeup because I'm about to leave the house, but I just feel so tired today. Probably because I slept in, to be honest. A sleep in is always a good idea, but I always feel more tired after I sleep in, which is not ideal. I'm going to quickly make lunch, scoff that down, and then I'm going to go get a Starbucks coffee. <laughs> I feel like I'm slowly being converted to a Starbucks girly since moving to the Gold Coast. I feel like there are less seraphas around here than where I used to live. And I always thought that Starbucks was awful, but it's kind of growing on me. And then I'm gonna go to Lang's house and we're gonna run some errands together. And they're quite fun errands. I wouldn't even call them errands because they're so fun. <laughs> but I have to buy a few birthday presents and we wanna go to Kmart and buy the new Uggs that they have, like the fake Uggs. They're so cute. And Ling and I have been saying we want Uggs forever. And the Kmart just pops up. The fake ones look so good. They look so comfy. Um, so hopefully the house size and stock. And then after our errands, I'm going to the gym. And that's my Tuesday. I think I'm gonna pack some swimmers with me so that after the gym I can go for a sunset swim. I need to rush out of here. Today's been one of those days where I just can't get a deep enough breath in. <laughs> Which is so annoying. Okay. It is go time. My armpits are hairy. Oh well. Hi, I just placed an order through the app. Georgia, beautiful. You can drive through when you're ready. Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you. That's the first time I've used the app and that is stunning. I'm a big drive through app girly. The sandwich is not really hitting the spot. Okay, I'm trying a brown sugar iced shaken espresso. 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 You know that trend on TikTok that's like, if I had to talk about love, I'd tell them about us. I saw a few people do that trend for this brown sugar shaken drink. And I'm like, I like brown sugar like bubble teas. So maybe I'll like this. I hope I do. Because I did just spend five dollars on it. Mmm. It kind of tastes like a cinnamon donut. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of just tastes like brown sugar. I don't love like the foamy bubbles on the top. And I feel like they took up this much room in an already small cup. I vibe with that. My lid is not staying down. I enjoy. I would get again. <laughs> my motivation to go to the gym right now is on the floor my friend ellie and i booked in our classes at the start of the week we we're gonna do together which is the only reason i went yesterday and the only reason that i'm going right now but she has an appointment right now and it's run late so she can't come and i was just trying to decide whether i should go or not because ellie not going just felt like the perfect excuse for me not to go but it's literally not the point. So I text her saying I'm going. So now I have to go. I just mixed Naked Harvest Sour Peach Stim Free Pre. Two scoops of that. And then one scoop of the new Mango and Passion Fruit. Just for like a little bit of caffeine. But it's 4pm. So <laughs> just a teeny tiny bit. Yum. I also haven't done this like class before. Like the new program that we're doing. And that just feels scary to do for the first time alone. But we're going to get it done. This is the fit. Just a little black and white fit. This is an old Whitney tank. And these are Gymshark Elevate shorts. I know that they're meant for like yoga and athleisure wear but they're so comfy because the waistband doesn't dig in at all like it's not super supportive but in the best way possible and i wear them all the time because i don't dig in on my thighs don't dig in on my waist and they're just so comfy and then obviously black and white converse so i think it's like shoulders and accessories and stuff so i don't think it'll be a really tough session but i think just like walking in is going to be the toughest part <sighs> it's fine it's fine let's just go
I success whoa i successfully went to a 5 a.m gym class and i'm proud of myself i haven't woken up this early in i don't know how long especially for the gym like i've woken up for the sunrise a couple of times recently but to wake up and like go straight to the gym not my strong suit <laughs> but i met up with ellie and georgie we got it done and i feel phenomenal for it. honestly the wake up wasn't as hard as i was expecting but I definitely didn't get enough sleep and I know that's gonna come back to bite me later today. I really struggled to fall asleep. I just like wasn't tired by the time it was time for me to go to bed because I had to go to bed so early because I was getting up so early. And then I found out this morning that it was a full moon and apparently that can mess up your sleep sometimes. I don't know. But I've packed my swimmers, a towel and a book and I'm gonna go to the beach because the sun literally rose five minutes ago. So I'm gonna go watch the sunrise and then have a morning swim and just lay in the morning sun and read for a bit before I go home and walk Winston. Like that's a stunning way to start my day if you me. selfies on my phone case is so cute rainbow boobies all over it which is just a bit of me isn't it i actually got a few new phone cases that i want to show you i feel like i should probably slow down on the phone case front but ever since i got my new phone i just need to start my collection all over again this one has definitely been a fave over the last few weeks i also got a tempered glass screen protector which i'm excited to put on these are the other two phone cases i got i feel like i've seen this do you call this a graphic print I don't know, all over social media recently and I love it so much. I think it's so fun. And I'm also obsessed with this baby blue and cream checkered squiggled pattern. I feel like these three are probably the best designs I've chosen so far. But these are all actually different types of protection. So this one is a case to buy bounce case. And as you can see around the edge, it has a bit of extra protection. If you want your phone to bounce, this is the kind of case that you need. This one is an ultra impact case. So again, along the corners, it has a lot of protection for you. And then the one I have on currently is just an impact case. I recently just spent $800 getting my back screen fixed. I stupidly used a different phone case and dropped it and smashed it but I've learned my lesson and I also love that you can kind of just pick and choose and customize the type of phone case you want you get to choose obviously the print that goes on the back you get to choose the rim color the type of protection whether you want impact ultra impact or bounce or I think they have a few others as well I've raved about case to buy for so long now I've worked with them so many times but because I genuinely just love their product so much and if you wanted to save any money on any case to buy orders you can click the link down below or just go to www.casefy.com slash Georgia Richards and shopping through that link will save you 15% off. Rach and Soph threw a little Easter brunch that Lang and I were lucky enough to attend and they always go above and beyond for hosting and it's so beautiful and just makes my heart so so happy. And then the next day we had another little hosting moment at Grace's house to celebrate Rachel's birthday. Had a home cooked pork roast with roasted veggies and it was just the best. I am so beyond grateful for all of my female friendships. I'm so lucky. Just here being the wife of the house. I'm finalizing all the washing and folding it so it's all ready on the bed for when George gets home. And I think that's her now. So you better not give anything away. I didn't reapply deodorant. But smelly. Uh -huh. Smelly shelly. <laughs> it's not that busy, so hopefully not many, not that many car parks. Cars in the car park. But why is it still a lot of cars? <laughs> Everyone's <laughs> using that Easter mind. bunny fuel. I basically came to Grace's house on Friday and haven't left. <laughs> I've moved in. Yeah. We're going to the gym the second day in a row. Wow, this is my fifth session. This week. Yeah, that's so good. And then we'll train again tomorrow. We're doing shoulders. And other stuff. Yeah, it's like a push-pull. It's oh, like a full it's a upper body, yeah. Oh, I just made out. Oh. <laughs> my heart burn. This is insane. You can't eat a burger and then literally lie down on your chest press. You'll <laughs> vomit. So lucky we went grocery shopping first. We're doing we're... chest press. Yeah, lying chest press, and dumb, press. dumbbell chest press, yeah. You have a rest in between, which yeah. is a back, a uh, seated row between. Oh, so I love a seated row. row. Yeah. So uh, I look forward to this one. <laughs> Quite a good session, I do some. Myself. What? 
I think if I say so myself. My biceps are still sore. I wrote it. I wrote the whole program. She has it all. Does the laundry. She writes the program. Does the laundry. Okay, we're going. health queens <laughs> that sauce used to be burnt oh my god my <laughs> we're both looking very <laughs> good <laughs> we are trying how do you say the brand connoisseur gourmet ice cream mango and coconut flavor i'm imagining mango weespa so you're thinking mango weespa is it weespa like coconut very good question cheers probably getting bounty <laughs> i like it it is giving bounty or should we just made a huge bowl of micro popcorn and we have <laughs> i don't think we'll be eating <laughs> A little platter of snacks. We're not eating it. Cream. No, I'm so hungry after dinner. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> there is chunks of mango in there. Yeah, that's yum. Yeah, the more mango, the better. <laughs> We're yep. watching The Night Agent. Netflix. Mm-hmm. It's scaring me. <laughs> Very I sleep right next to this window, <laughs> and I'm scared. But I guess if someone breaks in, you're closest to the door. <laughs> they don't want to break in through there. They're gonna break in through the there. Exactly. You have stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> Good for me. Oh, you're gonna go out the window. <laughs> yeah, how do you plan on opening that? <laughs> yeah, it gets better than what you eat. Mm. Not on the first night. I caught it, I caught it. We're gonna eat our snacks. I'm hopefully finished night agent. How many is it? Is it only six? I'm gonna need to sit up for like an hour after I eat this. I'm gonna get a hub. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Rachel Catherine Library. <laughs> the Rachel Catherine 9 and 8 Library. I, played I think spot. the book I want is red. So maybe it's over here. Oh my gosh, it's color coded. Yeah. Oh, one true lovers. <gasps> one true loves. What is it? The Edens. It looks like um, it looks like a thriller. The books are named after places in the town. Yes, this is the one I was trying to explain to you, and you just had no idea. <laughs> Should I read it? It is a good one. This is the most flattering angle. <laughs> I also think so I want like funny. a thriller or like a uh, not romance because I'm kind of sick of everyone being in love. <laughs> <laughs> a good girl's guide to murder. Look at her trying to say that. Good girl's guide to murder. Sheesh, kebab. Oh, there's two more by Oh my here. gosh, small text. Have you read Losing Hope and Hopeless? No. Well, she decided to need some help, please. Of course. <laughs> Should I get that one with this one? This one is a bit more sad. This one. Oh, do you think it's sad? Nah. Okay. George didn't like this one. <laughs> I liked it. Okay. Um, which one's after? This one's number three. Okay. I'd like something that's not a romance. Okay. Good Girl's Guide to Murder. She literally, literally just picked that up. Detective girly. Yeah. yeah. Is it a bit it's like... It's YA, so it's yeah. a bit like younger. Yeah. But like fun. Okay. Easy Chill. read. <laughs> Do you want fantasy or no? Have you open to it? You could take Akatar if you wanted, because I finished it. Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. Because like, so oh, I'm reading it now as well. Thanks. So that could be fun. Mm, so that smells books. great. How many did you want? So it's like a <laughs> I think I just two. Yeah, two is fine. Because I still have so many if you're sorry. Oh. It's green. I thought it was going to be blue. If you don't like that, can you didn't look me in the eye when you tapped it. You looked away. No, I did. Mmm, <laughs> that is nice. You like? Mmm. Mmm. You can be honest with me. No, I'm confused about the color, but... It is green. Yeah, and it's like blue. <laughs> raspberry. It's raspberry. It tastes like a raspberry that's blue. It's glow in the dark. <laughs> I think it like reminds it. me of dishwashing liquid. That's what oh, the color. color. You know? That's kind of valid. Mm. I like your outfit. Thanks, this is from Akita. Wow. Oh. It's a city. Like it looks like Canada. Yeah. <laughs> mm. This is yum. You can stir it more if you want. No, 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 that's okay. George doesn't drink the stuff at the end. <laughs> no, I'm going to. Good. I don't drink the stuff at the end. <laughs> it's just I love it. I don't do it. Oh. <sighs> um. Okay guys, we're back for round two. Today I'm doing fresh sheets on the bed so that Georgia has a blissful sleep. Enjoy. 
definitely making the bed. Does anyone always get confused as to what end the fitted sheet has to go on? Or is it just me? And if you have a bed that goes up against the wall, then you know. It's a mission, if I do say so myself. The sheet, of course, which Georgia does not usually have on her bed at home. She just has a straight doona. Please comment below if you have a sheet as well as a fitted sheet, because I think it's important. <laughs> Always wipe your feet before you get onto the bed. You do not want dirty particles under your bed sheets. There is probably a lot more graceful ways to make your bed. Am I going to do that? Absolutely not. Oh god. Good morning. It has gotten so chilly. We had a storm on Friday night and ever since then the weather has just dropped I feel like 10 degrees. So <laughs> I think the last few days have been a bit chaotic. That is the dogs playing in the background, if you can hear that, so sorry. I came down here on Thursday night because it was Grace's birthday and we had a birthday dinner. And then I drove back to the Gold Coast early Friday morning and spent all day Friday at Lang's house. Soph and Rach organized a little Easter brunch for us and it was so cute. And we just sat around and chat for literally 12 hours. I went home, I repacked my bag and I came back because Grace, Beck, Rachel and I were having a girls dinner here for Rachel's birthday on Saturday night. And then I realized that I had a birthday dinner for my mum the coming Tuesday and I just didn't see any point in driving back again to just spend like one or two days at home and then driving back. So I've just been living at Grace's house since Thursday and it's been quite stunning. Just like the old times. One of the things I miss most since moving to the Gold Coast are my sleepovers with Grace. So I feel like the last few days have really been filling up my cup but I've woken up. Grace is off to work. I fed the boys, made the bed. Those are my duties. I'm getting ready. I think I'm gonna go to Zarafas for breakfast, my old local Zarafas. And then I have a meeting at 10 and then Rachel and I are gonna meet up and go to the gym together, which is fun because back when we used to live together, we used to train all the time. We would literally follow Whitney Simmons' Instagram workouts at the gym together while she was at uni. But since living apart, I think we've only really trained together once and it was for a video. So I'm excited to just go to the gym. First of all, have a gym buddy. So Second of all, show her around my old gym. And then tonight, as I mentioned, I have my mom's birthday dinner with my family. And then Grace and I are gonna watch the final episode of Night Agent. We've been watching it on Netflix the last few days. And tell me why I'm so stressed watching it. Like we're watching it right before bed and my adrenaline is through the roof and I just get so stressed. It's just like the classic, they're the good guys but everyone's making them look like the bad guys and everyone's chasing them. And I'm just stressed every episode that they're gonna get caught. <laughs> and then I think I'll end up driving home fairly early tomorrow morning because I didn't bring my laptop. I didn't bring enough to come for this amount of time, which makes sense because I wasn't planning on coming for this whole time. My little toes are so cold on the tiles. Also, this is, I wore this the other day, the Gymshark One Piece. And the more I wear it, the more I love it. I feel like the neckline is very nice. I like that it's just a thin strap because their other one pieces all have thick straps. The material is very, very nice. I don't know how I feel about seeing my body in a one piece. Like it, it's just very exposing. But I'm trying to tell myself I can wear whatever I want. Could I please grab my grande iced caramel latte? Thank you. I'm officially back home after unintentionally spending a week away from home. It's always a bit bittersweet. I love going and visiting my friends and spending time with them. And it's like kind of bitter to come home, but it's also really sweet because this really does feel like home. But I had such a great week. I feel like it was very chaotic and all over the place. I feel like it was the most social week I've had in a very long time. So this vlog is probably messy and all over the place, but those are my favorite vlogs of mine personally. So hope you enjoyed and I will see you in a vlog very, very soon. Bye.